When carrying out maintenance of water control equipment, such as pen stocks, radial weirs and sluice gates, it is essential to have the correct safety measures in place with regards to the water flow. All work should be carefully planned and detailed in a method statement and risk assessment that include the necessary procedures relating to the work that will be carried out in a designated, confined space. Having arrived on site, start by contacting the site responsible officer and the flood incident duty officer to advise them of your presence and the possibility of unexpected telemetry alarms. Begin by identifying the equipment that will be worked on and ensure that there are sufficient stop logs of the correct length for the task. Assess the weight of the stop logs to ensure compliance with manual handling recommendations and ensure that any lifting equipment is properly tagged and safe to use. Check that all safety barriers are in place or if other precautions will be required, such as fall arrest equipment. Inspect the stop logs to ensure that all the seals are correctly positioned and clean the seal on the first stop log to be installed. Position the stop logs close to where they will be lowered into position. Starting with the upstream section, remove any grid work to provide access to the stop log installation point. Place it away from the work area so that it does not create a trip hazard. Using the appropriate lowering equipment, position the stop log in the guides and lower into position slowly. Ensure that each stop log is properly seated before installing the next one. Repeat this process until the required number of stop logs are in place. Replace the grid work and secure it in position. Repeat the stop log installation process for the downstream side of the installation. Once all stop logs are in place, the trap water can be pumped out and the integrity of the stop log seals can be checked. Once the safety of the site has been assured, work on the water control equipment can begin. It should be noted that any work carried out with the stop logs in place is subject to confined space safety procedures and these must be followed at all times. By following the advice in this guide, all those involved in the maintenance and repair of water control equipment should be able to complete their tasks safely. <laughs>